what's going on guys it's nick from this 3d life and i'm coming at you with this week's vlog so this week i want to talk a little bit about pax east uh which was this past weekend and sean and i were fortunate enough to go and got to hang out with a bunch of people and see a bunch of cool shit um now i kind of want to break this down into a, a couple different things because overall we had a really great time this weekend but there were a couple of things about the show that like really were a little uh bothersome i guess is the best way to put it because we, we had a great time, and we saw a lot of fun stuff, and, uh, you know, I probably wouldn't have changed too much about the weekend, but there was a few things that kind of were uh, a little bit of a letdown. So I guess we'll we'll start with the stuff that really kind of was uh, annoying about the weekend, and then, well, I'll finish it off with stuff that we liked. Um, so the show floor where all the games are, and where you, you know, you're spending most of your, uh, most of your weekend was, uh, an absolute madhouse. Like, I know that these things are busy. I go to them frequently and, you know, I'm fortunate enough to go to, uh, more than a couple a year. So I know that like the floors are insane and Saturday's the craziest day. And like on Saturday, you might as well find, uh, you know, the, hidden gems of the show opposed to trying to stand in line all day for you know the big triple a titles but it appeared this year that they really kind of slimmed down on what was actually on the show floor and making like and this made room for more people to get into the show which is great that more people are, are able to get into the show and see the stuff but when there's not as much stuff to do and there's more people. It's just a ton of people trying to find a line that isn't capped. So there weren't too many big, like giant booths this year. Uh, there was like a giant Twitch booth, which is great because uh, Twitch has a giant community, obviously. And, you know, people get to go see their favorite uh, Twitch uh, channels. The Twitchers, I guess, is what you call them. Uh are there doing like a live show and it's super fucking cool and people are super excited about it. Uh, and that's awesome. Um, they had a big Oculus booth, which I would have loved to have gotten my hands on Oculus and tried it out. But again, the line was capped the entire weekend. Every time you walk by someone standing with a sign, that's like, Oh, go back in 30 minutes and hopefully the line won't be capped. Um, Splatoon, uh, the Nintendo first person shooter where you shoot paint at people and stuff, which I'm super fucking excited about. Um, and it's only been at like two shows. It was at like E3 and then uh, it was at Gamescom in Germany and now it was uh, here. But you couldn't get near it. I tried like a few times, but it was always like, oh, come back in 45 minutes and maybe you can get in line. Um, but really, there wasn't that much. And there was a ton of indies, which is great, except they designated like the same amount of floor space for indies and crammed more indies into this like tiny part of the floor so everyone was there trying to see you know they had shovel knight for vita and they had uh drink box's new game uh severed was there and so a ton of people were trying to see that and um uh devolver was there and you know they had all their fucking games that are coming out and so their booth was insane so they have all these like you know very popular indie booths that in this small amount of space, plus all of these, you know, up and coming small developers that are just trying to show off their game that they've been working on with them and their best friend for the past, you know, like three years, um, in this tiny space. And there's like a gazillion fucking people everywhere. So to get to things at this show proved to be harder than it usually is. I mean, it's usually like a, a chore to fucking go to these things, like in like, kind of a, a shitty way to put it just because you you're standing in line all weekend and you're waiting and you're, you're hoping that you can get to something when there's an opening and and that's fine that's what it is that's that's the nature of the beast but when they've taken out a large what like a large chunk of shit that normally is there to make room for more people and then there's nothing to fucking play because there's a gazillion fucking people trying to get to these booths so that that was like kind of shitty i mean we got to play a bunch of fucking cool stuff i got to play sever drink box's new game and i'm so fucking excited for that game 
Uh, if you don't own a Vita, you have to go get a Vita because Severed is the fucking truth. That is that game is going to be awesome. Um, everything Drinkbox does is fucking awesome, and Severed is not is like no exception. That game is going to be great. Um, now for shit that I loved about PAX, which is what I do love about PAX, is like the community, um, meeting people and going to panels and waiting in line, and then you get to talk to people and you get to hear their fucking story and you get to meet people and really make these like friendships. Like every year I go, I leave with a new friend or friends, many friends. And it's awesome. Like that is why you should be going to these things. Not like, it's great to play games. It's amazing to like get to play games early and try things. You get to talk to the developers and, you know, like really pick their brain about like what they were thinking about while making the game or their ideas going in. Really what I suggest is when you go to these things, go to panels and just talk to people because everyone there wants to just talk to people and meet people. And it's, the best it is the absolute best is going to these things and just creating these friendships um we went to a bunch of panels um we went to a, a meet and greet off of like outside of the convention center and it was great um everything that we did that like wasn't on the show floor was my favorite part about PAX so going into the like retro arcades that they have set up like in all the different rooms and so you go in and you get to play like all these arcade cabinets and stuff and just like talk to people and it, that's the most fun um and that's really like why I love going to these things it's less about getting to see the new games and getting to play the new games early and it's way more about meeting people that just want to maybe they don't have like a lot of people that are into what they're into from their area so they go to these things and then you get to like make a new friendship it's fucking awesome i love it um so that that's really it for this week you know that i didn't want to go super crazy i mean i guess i could uh let's see uh lightfall by bishop games uh is going to be unreal it's going to be a great platformer um that i think is going to be soon they didn't have a release date when i talked to them but that will be soon check that game out it's going to be on uh steam playstation 4 vita ps3 uh and they're hoping for xbox but they haven't uh finalized that yet uh fortified is a tower defense game uh that's going to be out uh it's like a third-person action tower defense uh, set in a 50s sci-fi. It's f fucking badass. That's going to be coming out on Steam and Xbox One. So check that out when it comes out. Um, Planet of Eyes was a great platforming game that uh, looks gorgeous. And I think it's coming out on everything. So you should look out for that one. And uh, what was another one that we loved? Thumper. It's a, oh, this one's insane. Thumper was a, uh, it was a, a rhythm game that was presented kind of like Amplitude, except you didn't like shift lanes to hit the rhythm keys. Um, you're on one path and there's all these different, uh, you, so you like turn hard into corners by like hitting like over an X on the controller and then you like hop over certain obstacles and break through other ones and it's all to the beat and it's these like crazy vibrant colors and it the game was gorgeous and the music was great and it's like all original and it's fucking awesome that game's gonna be really good and it's made by like a few guys that left harmonics and are making a new game and it's awesome look out for the thumper that one's gonna be good um but i think that's it uh go do yourself a favor if you have never been to a convention go to a convention but go to experience the whole not just to like wait in line all day experience the whole thing talk to people uh go to these panels go to meet and greets go to it's that's why you should go is to meet people it, it's so much fun um so i guess until uh next week i'm nick with this three life uh make sure to follow me on twitter at i saw shark and follow this 3d life at this 3d life and uh i will see you guys next week i don't know what that is i'm an idiot i hate myself